<laughs> Hi guys, this is Rusty78609, Friday afternoon, Central Texas, USA, in my 16-foot travel trailer that I live in. You believe that? Anyway, I got a great comment here, and I'm going to read it as a video. Why? Because it is probably one of the most well-thought-out comments about artificial intelligence and how the artificial intelligence and machine learning and how it's going to change our lives and all this stuff and it's put together perfectly or it's damn good in my opinion but anyway i just i just thought it was a wonderful comment and thought I, and so i thought i'd just read it out as a complete video because it's a long comment and it's very very well thought out and it's from tulaka 47 thank you tulaka 47 what a brilliant comment pat 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 to you also pat 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 to you guys that use the amazon link in the description to go to amazon and buy stuff thank you very much doesn't cost you a dime i'm an amazon affiliate so use the amazon link nah, 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 nah. anyway enough said uh <clears throat> but anyway this is it. it says this is a long message but i think you will find it interested i interesting i did very 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 interesting listen up to this guys this is very important i don't know if all the facts check out but as predictions go, it is indeed a very interesting world we live in. Apparently, she's got this information from somewhere. Anyway, here today, not tomorrow. In 1998, Kodak had 170,000 employees and sold 85% of all photo paper worldwide. That's in 1998, less than 20 years ago. Within, a, within just a few years, their business model disappeared and they went bankrupt. What happened to Kodak will happen to in a lot of industries in the next five to ten years and most people and most people won't see it coming did you think in 1998 that three years later you would never take pictures on film again no i did not even though i didn't take many pictures yet digital camera cameras were invented in 1975 the first ones only had 10,000 pixels but followed moore's law so as with all so as with all exponential technologies, it was a disappointment for a time, but it became way superior and became mainstream in only a few short years. See, the key word in that paragraph right there is exponential. See, we can think linear, linearly like this, you know what I mean? We can, we can see things growing linearly. But we cannot think, our mind doesn't do exponential thinking. We can't. It's not there. But anyway, uh, it will now happen again, but much fast, faster with artificial intelligence, health, autonomous and electric cars, education, 3D printing, agriculture, and jobs. And those are things I've been following pretty closely, and this, is, this comment is right on. Anyway, <clears throat> welcome to the fourth industrial revolution. Welcome to the exponential age. I'm, in fact, I'm going to make that the title of this video. I will. <clears throat> it says software will disrupt most traditional industries in the next five to ten years. I totally agree with that. Uber is just a software tool. They don't own any cars and are now the biggest taxi company in the world. Now think about that. That's all software. That's all that company is. Think about it. They don't own cars, and they're the largest taxi company in the world. Boom, like that. Airbnb is now the biggest hotel company in the world, although they don't own any properties. How about that? And that's true. Artificial intelligence. Computers become exponentially better in understanding the world. This year, a computer beat the best Go player in the world 10 years earlier than expected. That's true. That is very true. Go is one of the most complicated games in the world. It's 10 times or 1,000 times more complicated than chess. Anyway, in the U.S., young lawyers already don't get jobs because of IBM's Watson. You can get legal advice so far. Uh, it's basically, it says so far for more or less basic stuff within seconds with 90% accuracy compared with 70% accuracy when done by humans. So if you study law, stop immediately. There will be 90% less lawyers in the future. Only omnis omniscient specialists will remain and i agree with you. it's going to be, be the tiny little specialists that, that manage 
Watson already helps doctors diagnosing cancer and treatment options, and it's four times more accurate than humans only. And that's true. I read, I, I didn't read about it. I saw a video about it. What That Watson is good, baby. Yeah, and it's, is it impacting healthcare? Yes. Quick. Autonomous cars. In 2018, the first self-driving cars will appear for the public. Around 2020, the complete industry will, be, will start to be disrupted. You don't want to own a car anymore. You will call a car with your phone. It will show up at your location and drive you to your destination. That, that'll be happening in the cities out here in the country. You'd just be calling and ain't nothing happening. But anyway, that's true. In the cities and, and, and most uh, medium-sized communities, probably, you will not need to park it. You only need to pay for the driven distance and can be productive while driving. The very young children of today will never get a driver's license and will never own a car. That's all true. It will, short, it will change the cities because we will need 90 to 95 percent less cars for that. We can transform parking spaces into parks. 1.2 million people die each year in car accidents worldwide. We have one accident every 60,000 miles or 100,000 kilometers. With autonomous driving, that will drop to one accident in six million miles. That will save millions of lives worldwide each year. Most car companies will doubtless become bankrupt. Traditional car companies try the evolutionary approach and just build a better car, while tech companies, Tesla, Apple, and Google, you hear me? That's true will do the revolutionary approach and build a computer on wheels. And that's exactly what they're doing. In fact, the new Tesla, everything in there it can be upgraded over a computer, okay? Or all the tech. It's set up so it can be set up for totally autonomous driving, even though it's not even available yet. Insurance companies will have massive trouble because without accidents, the insurance will become 100 times cheaper their car insurance business model will disappear. Real estate will change because if you can work while you commute, people will move further away to live in a more beautiful neighborhood. Electric cars will remain, will remain mainstream. Uh, oh, excuse me. Electric cars will become mainstream around 2020. Cities will be less noisy because all new cars will run on electricity. Electricity will become in incredibly cheap and clean. And this is true, too. I see it in Texas. Solar production has been on an exponential curve for 30 years. But you can now see the burgeoning impact, and she is so correct. You know, one, the number one is only seven doublings from 100. Okay? Th that's exponential thinking. Okay? Start doubling your know, one, two, four. Eight, you know, just start doing that and you'll get to 107 doublings, okay? That's how, that's how exponential works. Uh, it says, uh, last year more solar energy was installed worldwide than fossil. Energy companies are desperately trying to limit access to the grid to prevent competition from home solar installations, but that simply cannot continue. Technology will take care of that strategy. It's it, you. If you either lead, follow, or get the hell out of the way, that's what's happening, man. It, it's coming. With cheap electricity comes cheap and abundant water. De desalination of salt water now only needs two kilowatts per cubic meter, or 25 cents. We don't have scarce water in most places. We only have we ha only have scarce drinking water. Imagine what would be possible if anyone can have as much clean water as he wants for nearly no cost. We're, we, she's right, or whoever this person is. Health, the Tricarter X price will be announced later this year. The, there are companies who will build a medical device called the Tricarter, it's like st from Star Trek, that works with your phone, which takes your retina scan, your blood sample, and you breathe into it. It then analyzes 54 biomarkers that will identify nearly any disease. It will be cheap. So in a few years, everyone on this planet will have access to world-class medical analysis nearly for free. Goodbye, self-serving medical practitioners and establishments. Now, that's, I, I've watched the videos on these things, every one of these things. I'm, and and what, what this individual is saying, I agree with totally. I know a lot of you are saying, oh, crap, it ain't going to happen. 
<laughs> get ready folks 3d printing the price of the cheapest 3d printer came down from eighteen thousand dollars to four hundred dollars within ten years in the same time it became 100 times faster all major shoe companies have already started 3d printing shoes some spare airplane parts are already 3d printed in remote remote airports the space station now has a printer that eliminates the need for the large amount of spare parts they used to have in the past now you know you'll have to study a little bit on 3d printing because that's extremely fascinating and it's here now at the end of this year uh, new smartphones will all have 3d scanning possibilities you can then 3d scan your feet and print your perfect shoe at home i know this sounds like star wars folks but it ain't <laughs> i'm telling you anyway in china they already 3d printed and built a complete six-story office building by 2027 10 percent of everything that's being produced will be 3d printed i mean it's that's a change babe business opportunities if you think a niche you if you think of a niche you want to go in first ask yourself in the future do i think we will have that <laughs> and if the answer is yes how can you make that happen sooner if it doesn't work with your phone forget the idea any idea designed for success in the 20th century is doomed to failure in the 21st century work 70 to 80 percent of jobs will disappear in the next 20 years there will be a lot of new jobs but it is not clear is if there will be enough new jobs in such a short time this will this will require a rethink of wealth distribution and that's happening already the guaranteed income it's already happening up in europe agriculture there will be a 100 dollar agriculture robot in the future farmers in third world countries can then become managers of their field instead of working all day in their fields great and then aeroponics will need much less water that's a-e-r-o-p-o-n-i-c-s i've heard of it the first petri dish that's the little things uh, you do study or research in you know, produced veal and is now available and will be cheaper than ca than cow produced veal in 2018 right now 30 percent of all agricultural surfaces is used for cows imagine if we don't need that space anymore brilliant this is brilliant stuff there are several startups who will bring insect protein to the market shortly it contains more protein than meat it will be labeled as alternative protein source because most people will will most people will scratch that most people still reject the idea of eating insects you know i've watched people eat chocolate covered ants there is an app called moody's which already can tell in which mood you're in by 2020 there will be apps that can tell by your facial expressions if you're lying oh that's gonna that's gonna hurt <laughs> that's gonna hurt imagine a political debate where it's being displayed when they're telling the truth and when they're not <laughs> it will ultimately compel all politicians to be truthful a truly unique and novel occurrence and that's the truth i love isn't this wonderful uh, by 2020 or sooner and some might suggest that it is happening now it says what a university student learns in the first year of a three-year degree will be irrelevant and redundant by the time the third year is completed <laughs> oh i gotta tell you how great that is talaka you outdid yourself talaka 47 uh, left a comment on my uh, YouTube channel it's called comment call probably dated today which is the 12th of January 2017 so if you want to read it for yourself you can and maybe there's a way to print all that out but folks that nails it I mean that puts it in focus right there thank you so much Talaka uh, I love that that is just too great so anyway guys food for thought enjoy your day from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, but use the link to Amazon products in the 
description of this video to do it. Why? Because I get a small commission. It doesn't cost you a dime. If it's inconvenient, don't fool with it. But if you think about it and you choose to, do it. Do it. And what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. What else? Here's another simple thing. This is not exponential. This is just common sense. Take deep breaths. Breathe in deep, hold it a few seconds, and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure, and that's very good for you, and I don't need my smartphone to tell me that. I know a lot of people are going to resist a lot of these things that I've commented on here. Or not me, but this individual. And you're going to say, oh, that can't happen. It's impossible. Never going to happen here. Folks, get ready. There's a train coming. Okay, I'm telling you. But anyway, what else? A stretch, walk, do all that. You know, keep your body and try to stay healthy regardless. You know, these, these changes are coming. It is going to be much more convenient to diagnose illnesses and all that stuff. And it's going to happen faster than most people think. And I totally agree with that. Because, yeah, what happened to Kodak is going to happen to a lot of companies. But anyway, guys, thumbs up. Enjoy your day. Check it out. Adios. Bye-bye.